Hello guys, my name is Michael and uh, today we are going to continue to another tutorial about our entries and uh, a short brief about the last tutorial. In the last tutorial we were learning about uh, new four new uh, signals which we can apply to our program and so on and uh, what we are going to talk today it will be those four functions here which you can use them to your program the for let's see the first one the first one uh, this uh, gtk entry set icon sensitive and says uh, set the sensitivity for the spe specific icon so uh, this means uh, the way how sh should react uh, the icon with or interfere with you as user and uh, program so this means uh, if you can uh, uh, apply something to that icon or not or if you can work with it or not so that being said uh, this function returns void takes two three parameters the first one is the entry the second one is the icon position and the third one is the g boolean sensitive which is true or false so let's see so let's call first function so the first uh, will be gtk entry our oh, entry is the first um, argument the second one it is a uh, gtk i composition uh, you already know from the last tutorials now i will um, uh, not uh, talk about this anymore because you already know about those um, two members of gtk entry i composition we used uh, gtk entry icon secondary so i'll call it also here and the last one it is the gboolean sensitive which is true or false i will set it to true which defaults to what the uh, program flow uh, has in this moment i will type something here's the icon and if i press you see it works fine because uh, it can interfere with me or with my mouse pointer if I set it to false as you can see I cannot work with it anymore so this means that its sensitivity was turned off so okay that being said this was the first function let's see the second one um, the second one is uh, gtk entry set icon activable this is uh, basically almost the same like sensitive let's see what the manual says manual says uh, says whatever the icon is activable or not so uh, this uh, function returns also nothing void uh, takes three parameters which are the same like the other function before so that being said uh, let's call the function And then I will copy this part here because it is the same. I run the program the way it is. And being true, it means I can work with the icon. Turn it to false. I cannot work with the icon anymore, you see? It's dead, so it's not working. The mouse pointer doesn't point anymore to this function anymore okay so that being said this is about uh, gtk entry set icon sensitive and this G gtk uh, entry um, icon activable now let's move to the next function let's see what the manual says about it the next function i will search for it and it says uh, sets the tooltip as the contents of the tooltip for the icon at the specific, uh, specified position. Use null for tooltip to remove an existing tooltip if there is one. We didn't see all suggest card tooltip with text and tooltip tool tool tip markup. Okay, uh, we are not interested in this one because we are not talking about GTK widget now, we are talking about GTK entry. So, uh, uh, we were going to talk about this one and this one in a moment uh, 
if you want to set a widget to the VR GTK widget, okay, this part we, we are not interested now at all. So this means uh, set the tooltip at as the contents of the tooltip for the icon at a specific position. So this means this um, uh, function takes three uh, has uh, three parameters: uh, returns void, and the first one is our entry. The second one is the icon position, and the uh, last one is the content of the tooltip the tip for the icon. So this means let's see okay let's call this um, function and then we'll pass I will copy this part here and here I will say null I will run the program so this means we don't pass anything I will type something I point to the icon and as you can see nothing happens so this means uh, because uh, we pass it to null and uh, if we for example change it to let's say um, click the icon now watch when I run the program now if I point into the icon well, if I use my mouse pointer at the icon now it says click the icon so as you see so this is basically the tooltip um, the text okay so you can use whatever uh, you want to and now to the last function which is um, gtk entry set icon tooltip uh, markup uh, about markup you already know uh, we, we talked in another tutorials so you should know how you work with the markups i won't talk to with you now about the markup because uh, you should know already if you saw my previous videos about the markups this means takes uh, says set tooltip as the content of the tooltip for the icon at the specific position uh, tooltip is assumed to be marked up with the pango text markup language okay use null for tooltip or remove an existing tooltip whatever so um, these two things here we are not interested in. This function returns void and takes three parameters, the, which are the same. And the first one is the entry, the second one is the icon position, and the last one is the gchar tool tip pointer constant. Okay, so that being said, I will copy this part here. And of course, um, uh, what would you think if I run it like this? So let's see what happens. I will type something and then as you can see it says click uh, the icon because um, uh, we have we didn't uh, use a markup something and because um, this uh, argument is passed as a gcha constant pointer uh, so this means uh, makes it valid but this is not the way you uh, work with this function because you need to create a markup so let's create something let's say it's uh, span um, then we close it we can use uh, click the icon as the text now and then uh, we are called close it the span and here let's say let's change the color color it is a color with let's say red okay now when I run the program and I point my mouse pointer on this icon the text should be now red and it is as you can see the text is now red which means works fine so that being said we we learned today uh, for new functions uh, the first one was the sensitive and the second one was activable which are basically acting uh, almost the same uh, later we talked about the uh, set icon tooltip text which means it's only if, and only if you want to to show a text without no special meanings or something and the last thing uh, which uh, we were working was uh, this uh, tooltip markup which you can apply directly some uh, changes to your um, to your uh, text like color font uh, if you want to print it like it at italic or 
uh, I don't know everything you want to you already know because we talked about this in another tutorial uh, for those guys for you guys which you see this tutorial and you are not sure about what I'm talking here this means you didn't uh, saw my last tutorial so please watch them before you come here okay so that being said thank you guys for watching and uh, until next time please subscribe and share with your friends see you guys